reports that the renowned floating gentleman's lounge, the Mile High Club, was almost destroyed today in a terrible accident. Hundreds of Panau's most respected businessmen and entertainers are said to have been on board when the giant blimp was saved from destruction by a handful of brave Panawan secret servicemen.
Two more. Two more coming up. You know the drill, comrade. Get up on the roof and fix the fan. Take no passengers. Barring me and speeding things along. Doubt you will.
Locked on target. Tough luck, compadre. Just make sure the provisions don't drop off.
to learn. Food for the recruits. These young men and women will never forget your fearless actions.
break it now?
with this coffee every morning. Gotta hurt the big man's ego.
the silos one by one, you should help them and use explosives to take the silos down.
Nice work, Hand Eye. Cities are on fire, the gangs are running amok, every man and his dog is attacking government forces. And just like we hoped, that sniveling coward Panay has fled the city! And you got a lead on that little runt? All on your PDA, good buddy. Baby Panay's hiding place. Not for much longer. Won't be easy though, Rico. Once you've flown to the canyon entrance, you're gonna have to go in on the ground. The base and the palace are heavily fortified. My suggestion is that you call in one of your best faction buddies for support. I'll do that, my friend. Though I won't need any help cutting that dwarf down to size. <laughs> Just make sure you put Baby to bed for good, Rico. Cause when you're done, it's time for a little of what we do best at the agency. It's time for a little regime change. Of course, now I remember. Barbecues aren't your only skill. Well, thank you, Rico. A man likes to be appreciated for more than his suckling pig. But choose your faction wisely. They're gonna be with you all the way to the end game. It's the devil's company. But I guess I'm used to it. Time to choose, amigo. Which one you like best? Savage Ular Boy Shree, Sweet Pinko Reaper Bolo, or Old Grumpy Roaches Dawn Razor? Your choice! You would like to cut some cane with me, huh, Scorpio? Thanks for the offer, but I can offer you something else to cut. Baby Panay's throat. I found where he and his troops are hiding. Oh yes, most definitely. You just show us where. At last, the people of Fana will rise and shatter the chains of the imperialist oppressors.
At last, the hour of the people has come, Scorpio. Using your information, I have created a plan for the attack. I shall be leading the attack via radio. Being a figurehead of the revolution, I am much too valuable to the cause to be harmed. Farewell, brave comrade. We have a visual requesting backup. Scorpio, these comrades are at your disposal. Guide them through the canyon. I want you to take out three big anti-aircraft guns and any fascist personnel around it so we can drop our engineers. They will help you pry open baby Pane's mouth gate. That'll come. Still stands. 
destroyed. Wonderful work. Now, you go to the last of the panels, just by that grotesque mouth, and access it. This will get us inside. You know, I can't shake the feeling that Pane is trying to make up for something. Okay, you ready, engineers and eggheads? Three, two, one, and access! Ah, that guy should floss more often. Now, Scorpio, find the little evil elf Pane and cut him down. Okay, now for the leprechaun. Quiet places. They always creep me out. Ah, I have been expecting you, the American agent. Please tell me you are not also here to steal Panau's beautiful black gold. Oil. I should have guessed. Always this damn oil. Oil, la. Uh, more oil than any reserve on the whole planet. I am going to control the whole world. Oh no, little man. Not if I can stop it. Oh, hell. It was you, Panay. You who destroyed the only thing I love. And now that Jade is dead, we'll die together. Imbecile. <laughs> Grotesque. I command you to stop. Get that grenade away from me. Throw it away. Oh, yeah. Jade is still alive. She wanted to tell you something about... Uh, Never seeing you again. Enemy sighted! All available units advance!
luck, compadre. You know, it would have been polite to let me in on some of the mission details. It's all on a need-to-know basis, buddy. You know that. Hmm. I should have killed you back in the jungle. And miss out on that suckling pig? You'd have been crazy. Now Panay's dead, we got the oil, and I can get cooking again. Sorry, no time for pleasantries, boys! Country's up for grabs, and we got tankers from the superpowers all heading this way. Doggone! Guess the barbecue's gonna have to wait. No hard feelings, huh, kid? No, but just remember that when it's your ass on the line. Well, sure thing, Rico. Now, you just keep shooting and lady killing. Let me handle the espionage, and together, we'll secure this all for the good old U.S. of A. It's time to protect and survive, boys. Chinese, Japanese, and Ruskis super tankers are headed here. All of them are looking to secure the oil for themselves. Uncle Sam sent backup out from every damn atoll in the South Pacific. I want you to patrol the area in the chopper and take care of any non-American dare stick his nose in. Don't think they'll mind us blowing up their tankers and all. <laughs> Hell, they're officially not here at all, just like us, buddy. 
Besides, you don't want the damn commies getting their dirty paws on all that oil now, do you? Never did understand politics. Wonderful. What the? It's a doggone atomic submarine! Jesus, Mary and Joseph. Your bird won't last long against that sub, Hyundai. Better get down and personal. It's time to away. Don't take no passengers. President Pane. You're supposed to be dead. You forget. I am invincible. Especially now I can destroy who and what I want at the touch of a button. Yeah? How are you gonna push buttons when your fingers are broken? You will find my digits are working perfectly. And now, you die. Defeat me! You'll never defeat me! Back to your monkey mother!
fucking legs, I kill you! You stink of excrement, you big pig! You'll never defeat me! That would be my impression. I have news for you. I have four nuclear missiles ready to blow. So if the Chinese, Japanese, or Russians try to screw me, <laughs> well, they're in for a nasty surprise. And the fourth? What do you think? It is of course pointed at the very wart on the face of the Earth. America. And with this, I take my leave. You. I am invincible!
you flogged for this. I'll have them tear off your skin and bolt you to a tree. Your suffering will Ooh. be the stuff of uh. legend. Looks like you'll be spending some time with your beloved oil after all. New target acquired. What are you doing with the guidance system? Oh, just a few minor changes. Rico, still ain't sure why you nuked the damned oil field. You lost your mind, buddy? The spoils of our little revolution. That fossil sludge would have started the mother of all wars. And you know something, Sheldon? I'm not gonna die in no apocalypse. Just so some fat cat in Washington can drive his SUV to the hill tomorrow. I don't think the agency's gonna be smiling. Do you have any idea how much that oil was worth? Sure. But it ain't worth dying over. Damn, Rico, that's as just a cause as any. I guess. Besides, who's gonna tell him? It's all on a need-to-know basis, right? That's right. I should know. But what happens to Pinal? Well, since the oil's gone, all the others have lost interest. It's just us now. Pinal gets a new US-friendly president. And we continue to monitor our special little part of Southeast Asia. Home of the best barbecues in the East Indies. Got that right. Here's to a brighter tomorrow. Cheers, everyone. To a, a brighter, brighter tomorrow. tomorrow. Salute.